Welcome back, Bobcat Nation. SKS here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. This week needs no introduction. After last week's game, you all saw that we are capable of winning games when we need to. We can make throws. Just all of our guys have to show up. With that said, this is one of the most important games of this Texas State Bobcat team's short lifespan in Division I football. We've beat ranked opponents before, but nothing was really on the line there. We were playing for pride. Now we take on a conference foe who is 22nd in the country in Arkansas State, and we definitely need a win here. We do get them at home. We've not been at home for four games. That is four long road games, which we split two and two. A win here makes us eight and four and secures us a legit bowl game. A loss here drops us to seven and five, just like last season. And it depends on the football gods what fate we will have. Coach Conquest wants a bowl game. This team wants a bowl game. I want to send Tom Sutton out with a bowl game. But Arkansas State stands in our way. No recruiting. Nothing else. Let's go to the game. Arkansas State, the Red Wolves are overall 81. They have grown since last year. There we go. We're getting Tom Sutton ready to go here at home. Arkansas State's made the trip over to Texas here. Our helmet just changed in his hands. That was kind of awkward, but Coach Conquest is trying to get Sutton ready to go. We need him big today. Average passing yards allowed, 221, 274. We almost allowed 300. If they throw, we're in trouble. We both are pretty good on defensive rushing ability. We both average two sacks a game. Let's give it up. One more home game for the team as our Texas State Bobcats rush out to the field. They're ready to go. They're Steve Humphrey, All-American. I think they're ready to play. Justin Horn is going to have to play valiantly today. Let's just see how this goes. We're here live at Bobcat Stadium. The 22nd ranked Arkansas State Red Wolves come in to visit the Texas State Bobcats. The crowd is packed. They are electric right now. And it's a beautiful day for football. All aboard! <laughs> As with everything we do, we lost the coin toss. But that's all right. Roberson's going to run this one out. This is a big game. We need this one. Oh, he got off that tackle and pulled him down. And here's Coach Conquest sending the team out on the field. That was Ryan Green getting some... First and 10 here, first play from scrimmage. Oh my God, they get through and they blow up Tom Sutton on the first run. One yard loss. Stewart and Roberson out there to the right. It's a handoff, he needs a block. He gets the block, Sutton turns the corner, Sutton's going down the field, he's past the 40, he gets straight out of bounds, but he crosses over near the 35 of the Arkansas State Red Wolves. What a run, what a missed tackle there. He took off down the field and that's the explosive play we're looking at to start this game. Fans riled up, here we go, first to 10. Stewart goes in motion. Oh, and he had to get rid of that one. Looking for Stewart on the side it looked like, but defense was there in Horn's face. Third and seven here. Horn fakes the handoff. Oh, he's going. He's got Stewart wide open on the edge. They're saying he was out of bounds. I went to challenge the play and it wouldn't let me. So we're gonna try a 49 yard field goal here. Sands should be able to make this. The kick is up and it's right down the pipe. Texas State, three nothing. Even though we got screwed on that play, he was in bounds. I cannot believe that. And it wouldn't let me review it. All right, so the big thing is, is we come out and we struck first. Sands kicks this one off, launches it way deep. It's back in the end zone. Wilson will not run it out. We got two lined up. Gone right. Oh, they're going to try to go around. I knew that. Humphrey is there, but Sanders comes up and finishes the play. Oh, this is some action-packed action here. Third and five. Red Wolves trying to push. Need a first down here to keep it alive, but he won't get through an All-American. Steve Humphrey brings him down, and that faces fourth down. We'll 
Well, the Texas State defense holds tough here at home on the Red Wolves first drive. A chance now to increase their lead. They're gonna punt, Fountain is back. Fountain will get past one, but the second guy gets him only two yards on that one as he falls forward. Stewart and Robertson out there, both tight ends, Booker and Cummings in there. It's a handoff. Sutton, Sutton going around, Sutton gets by, he'll get the first down, that's 12 more yards added to him. Stewart, Dixon, and Roberson out to the left. Play action. He's wide open. Roberson will make the catch near midfield. That's 16 yards, and they move the chains again. Warren settled in. Nice throw there across the middle. Second and eight here. Oh, he tried to go deep. Tried to thin it in there. Probably should have given him some more time. Third and eight here. And he hits Stewart. Oh, and Stewart dropped it. That's going to force a fourth down. So fourth and eight, Coach Conquest is going to go for it here. Almost throws an interception, and they're going to turn it over at midfield. Second and seven, Red Wolves trying to get it in position. Oh, they come through. They get the throw off, though, and he's going to squirt through. Number 19's down the field. Parker trying to pull him down, and they'll get him, but he's near the 10, 36 yards. The almost sacked turned into a big game for the Red Wolves. Another big wide open. Oh, my God. Booth got demolished on that. He's got to bulk up. Red Wolves wasting no time here. Coming back after the turnover on downs. Man goes in motion. Tight end scoots over to the right. Oh, he keeps it. Stanley! And he doesn't get it, but Parker will hold him. Oh, and they get him there. Second and goal, a four-yard loss. Look like Paul Franklin on the tackle. Oh, yeah, he tripped him up. Bring out the big uglies here. Second and goal. Oh, get him, Ward had him, but couldn't pull him down. And the Red Wolves of Arkansas State score here, and they go in front, possibly by four. Oh, Ward was there. He couldn't wrap him up. Extra point is good. 7-3. Arkansas State leads the Bobcats here at home. Roberson's going to take this one. Looking for a hole. Oh, God, he's got a big gap. Roberson up the middle. Roberson, he'll get near midfield, and they're going to have amazing yards field position here as Roberson goes 48 yards. Second and 10 here. Stewart goes in motion. Oh, he threaded the needle. Booker will make the catch 13 yards. First down, they move the chains. Second and nine here, minute 20 left. Green play, Sutton catches it on the run. Sutton will get brought down, he'll get six yards. He couldn't get some clearance. Missed blocks there by the lineman. Third and three here. Sutton up the middle and he'll get the first down. He gets four, needed three. So I get a 10 here. Oh, he's going deep, Stewart! Makes the touchdown catch, Ryan Stewart. Warren put it up and he lets Stewart make the play. And Ryan Stewart comes down with six. The junior out of Alabama makes the play over the corner. Sands comes out and it is now 10-7. Texas State leads the Red Wolves of Arkansas State. Stewart getting some love on the sideline. Sands kicks this one off deep. I didn't know if he had it or not. I had to pause and see if he come down with it. Wilson will kneel. We got great run defense, so if they keep trying that all game, we'll be all right. Oh, man. Come up and get him, Jensen. Oh, my God. Jensen could have made that run. He was there, but I guess he stayed on the coverage way too long. Third and one now. At the end of the first quarter, lots of excitement going on here. Texas State leads the ranked Red Wolves 10-7. Line to the left. Oh, get him. Gotcha, get him, Humphrey. Come on, Humphrey. Get him. Yes. Humphrey eats him up on the back. 
and that's a loss, and that's going to force a fourth down. All-American Steve Humphrey gets off his block, and he stayed with it, wouldn't let him go forward. All-American showing what he's made of. Arkansas State here. Punts it. Fountain. It's a short punt. Fountain gets off one block. Fountain. Oh, he tried. He should have went down the line, but he tried to reverse field. Good field position, though. Third and seven here. Booker. Booker gets through. Booker gets the first down, and they're going to be on the Red Wolf side of the field. 12 more yards for Booker, the senior tight end. First and 10 here. He's wide open out there. Dixon, ah, uh, Dixon makes the catch, but he trails out of bounds, couldn't turn. They're heavy on that right side here, third and two. Booker goes in motion. Oh, and he gets through, Sutton stays up, Sutton, Sutton gets planted, and he'll lose eight, the play falls apart. Couldn't make anything of it, the Red Wolves swarmed him. Not trusting the punter, so we're gonna go for it here. Play action. Oh my God, Booker! Booker's there! Booker makes the play! Booker gets the first down and he's through! Oh my God, Kyle Booker, 20 yards. I thought he was dead to rights in front of the line of scrim or the line there for the first down. Look at that elusive move and then a nice block there by Roberson, and he'll get through. Ballsy call by Coach Conquest. Waiting for here. Oh, the quick back, and he knocks it down, and Stewart couldn't make the catch. Nice defense there. Sands definitely going to come out and try for three here. Field goal is good, and Texas State goes up by six with 3.53 left until halftime. Close one here at Bobcat Stadium. First and ten here, Arkansas State coming out. Oh, it's a run up the middle. Oh, it looked like he dropped that. The ball was behind his body. Snyder gets the first down. Nice run there. Come on. Humphrey pulls him down. He gets another first down there near midfield. Oh, get him, Sanders. Sanders blocked him, and then I think Humphrey come up and made the stop. Third and nine. Yeah, Sanders slowed him up, and then Humphrey comes and yanks him down. The line in here. Come on. No, of course he's going to make that catch. Booth couldn't keep up with him. Randy Booth, the freshman. Sometimes I feel like it slows our defensive backs down and makes them think they're linebackers. Get him, Hughes. Franklin, somebody, oh my God, he got obliterated there. Who was that? Randy Booth come up and got him that time. Man goes in motion, this isn't good. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, Josh Sanders, you read that play brilliantly and you dropped it. I'm still so tore up over that. We should have had that. That should have been a pick six. Get him! Pull him down! Hughes finally, Jermaine Hughes sacks him for a loss of nine. Fourth and 16. I'm actually gonna call a timeout. Oh, and he shanks it to the left. And Texas State stays up by six. And they'll have a minute 57 to march down the field. Ooh, that was close. Second 10. Horn, what are you doing? What kind of throw was that? Third and 10 here. Horn hit again, and we're going to get the ball right back to him with a minute 45. What a terrible. A terrible series there. O'Connor will punt that. They'll be going most of the length of the field. 
bring out our dime package because I've got a feeling they may throw more on this drive to try to get chunks of yardage. Get him! There we go, Jermaine Hughes again. Brings him down and their coach is upset. He is not happy about that. Third and 12 here, big play, minute 34 till half. Get him, oh, and we knock it down. Who is that? Paul Franklin coming through. They're showing Steve Humphrey, but Franklin hit his arm. So both offenses flutter here going toward the halftime. Another punt coming up here. Fountain's gonna get this. Hopefully get us in front. Oh, Fountain, you're so bad at reversing field. Just stop it. Minute 23, two timeouts. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Horn has been abysmal today. There's another example, seven for 19. Taking a 10 here. Oh, Roberson makes the catch. Roberson will get across midfield. Nice bullet there by Horn. He's gonna have to earn my trust. The corner left him, was playing coverage it looked like, and not man, and Roberson got the gap. That's gonna move the sticks. First and 10 here. Oh, and Stewart! Uh Holy crap, what a throw. Ryan Stewart comes off the block in the nick of time and somehow makes that catch reaches and they're gonna move the chains again. Take it at five. Oh, and it's picked off. Booker let him take it away from him and he'll throw the interception and that will give up the chance. He threw it right to the middle linebacker. Stupid play call there, first and 10. Arkansas State's gonna try to go the length of the field. Looks like they're running. Humphrey will hit him. They're not gonna make it down the field if they're just gonna run. They may be intent to go to halftime with this score. And they'll do just that. So Arkansas State wastes the clock. We go to halftime. They'll be content being down by six here at Texas State. All right, we start the second half. Sands will kick off, puts it deep in the end zone again. Wilson will nail. Coach Conquest, his defense is playing well, but the offense here and there needs some uh, consistency. So first drive of the second half, the Red Wolves come out. Oh, we're playing good coverage today. Come on, Jensen. Jensen will stop him second and inches. Finally, they don't get a first down. It's a big boy. Oh, don't let him get through the hole. Come on. Snyder with 12 more. That's a first down. Parker. Come on, Parker. Oh, Russ Parker, you should have had that. Crowd comes alive here. Third and 10. Can the Bobcats get through? Can they put pressure on the quarterback? And they'll pull him down! And there's Franklin with another sack, and that'll force a punt here in the start of the third quarter. The home crowd is static right now. All right, Fountain, no cutbacks. Fourth and 17. Deep punt, Fountain will stay, hold his ground. Gets one block. He'll get about 10 on that. They'll start at the 30. First and 10 here. The handoff. Sutton up the middle. Sutton pushes through. Sutton still moving the line. He'll get 12. He moved everybody on that run. Oh! Play Horn will go for the first down. Fakes the handoff. Nice play there, Justin Horn. And they'll keep the chains moving. First and 10 here. Horn fakes the handoff. Oh, God, he's wide open down the middle. Stewart makes the catch. He gets off one. And he'll be brought down, but they are closing in on the touchdown line. The goal line for you football fans. Nice play there. A the little quarterback boot. Just got the opening. And Stewart was there. I'll round him up quickly. 
There's Din here. Stewart again. Quick slant there, six yards. Third and four. Oh, they left that line open. Sutton will roll over and get the first down. I can't believe they only put three on the line defensive-wise there. Cummings goes in motion. The handoff. Uh-oh, Sutton's got action on the outside. Sutton's in there for the touchdown, and Texas State increases their lead over the 22nd-ranked Red Wolves of Arkansas State. Tom Sutton come around the end, and there was no stopping him. Good blocks by the receivers there. They try to trip him, but he was already in there. Chance to go up by 13. Sands comes out. The home crowd happy here, and there it is. It's 20 to 7. Hobcat faithful going crazy here. 20 to 7 over the rank. They smell bowl game. Can they keep it up? There's a lot of game to play. He comes out of the end zone, and he'll get a nice run back there. 27 yards. Third five, Red Wolves a little distraught right now. Oh, they go for the string. Come on, Humphrey, get off that block. Stanley, oh, and they'll give him the first down. So the Red Wolves have the train moving here. They're approaching midfield. Oh, get off your block, come on, Parker. 14 more yards, they're really pushing. Come on, somebody bring him down. He's getting way too much yardage there. They're chewing us apart. What was that crap? The tackler went like right through him. Red Wolves really pushing here. Stanley, Stanley wouldn't turn. And the Red Wolves closed the gap quickly here in the third, scoring in less than two minutes. We knew they wouldn't go away. Quarterback keeper, he gets in there. Trying to make it a six point game here. And they will. So 20 to 14 here with 320 left in the fourth, or in the third, excuse me. Red Wolves pushing back. Looks like Roberson's gonna get this one. We'll bring it out. Oh, nice little spin move there on the side, and he'll get up, he'll get 34 yards. So I get a four here. Handoff, Sutton through the line, and they'll give him the first down. He's over 100, up about 120 today. Oh, he's wide open. Dixon. Dixon trying to get through. Dixon will get the first down and more. 15 yards. Michael Dixon. First to 10 here. And he'll hit Booker. Booker will get through one and he'll get the first down. 13 more yards. Justin Horn picking apart the defense right here. It's a handoff. Uh oh. And Sutton will come back. He'll get 10 yards on that, but they won't give him the first down. Second and inches. A handoff. Sutton through the middle. He'll get it. First down. And that'll put him close to the 10. That'll take us to the fourth quarter. Texas State leads by six, 20 to 14, over the 22nd ranked Arkansas State Red Wolves. Owen Stewart will make the catch. And that's right near the goal line. What a catch there in traffic. Second and inches. They run a draw play and Sutton will sneak in there and Texas State increases the lead. This is a big one. This is a big one here. The draw play was a gutsy call. He just holds back, lets the line collapse and then looks for the hole after that and goes in. They're going to go for two here. And he'll hit Stewart, and they get the two-point conversion. 7-18 left in the game. Texas State up two touchdowns. Crowd chant in Texas State. Wilson's going to bring this one out. 
He'll get 30. And there's a flag on the play. He may get more. Personal foul. Clipping. Oh, we'll Receive. bring it back. Still first down. That wasn't a penalty you wanted if you want to move up the field. So they'll back him up here. Man goes in motion. They have four guys out there. Oh, and looks like Greco comes through and lights him up. Jason Greco and Steve Humphrey on the play. Greco really showing up. The sophomore, yeah, he blew that play up. Putting four wide receivers out there again. Hughes, Jermaine Hughes on the tackle there. They only get one, third and 13. Sanders, God, Josh Sanders knocks it down, but that's going to make it fourth and 13, and they're way too far back to go for it. We're going to have great field possession if Fountain can hold on to it. He tried to reverse again. Fountain, why do you do that? All right, up two scores. We should try to use as much clock as possible. Oh, big hole there. Sutton comes through, he'll get seven. He rushes for 2,000 yards this season. Congratulations, Tom Sutton. Puts him at 144 for the game. Horn's gonna go deep. He's taking a chance at Roberson. It's picked off in the end zone. And they'll get it at the 20. Roberson didn't even go up for it. It was underthrown. So much for wasting the clock. That's probably got to be on the offensive coordinator. Oh, we were there. Green! Oh, come on, Ryan Green! Why of our guys cannot intercept it? For once in our life, our corners are covering, but yet they cannot bring down the interception. Oh, Hughes was through. Get him, Edwards. Oh, come on. There's there's some shenanigans going on with these animations. If they score off that interception, we're, we're in trouble. Big hole. He's going to come all the way through, of course. That puts him across midfield. Five twelve to go in the game. We totally moved the guys the wrong way. How did he cut that corner that much? Get him! Come on, we had so many people on him. We'll sack him for a loss. Third and two here, under five to go. We should have had him there, but he ran over poor Jason Greco. We got to get in the weight room this off season. These guys have got to bulk up. Come on, boys. Get him. What? He was not across that line. Oh, my Lord. You always know when Young's out there that we've got the, the, some of the, the backups in to help out. Oh, God. Come on, Sanders. Oh, he fumbled it. But Grant was right there to pick it up. That fumble didn't even have a chance to hit the ground. Come on, Stanley, pull him down. Oh, there's a flag. Holding offense. Bring him back. Still first down. Franklin Hughes, Young, and Humphrey. So first to 20, we back him up a little bit. That's gonna help the clock run some. Come on, come on, pull him down, Parker. Good job. Notice the clock stops for them when they go to bounds. If it's me, I get screwed. Oh no, there it goes. Come on, stop him. Good stop, no gain. Third and 16. Oh, and Parker. 
Oh my god, he almost caught that. Parker goes up, almost got the interception, but they almost flicked it to him. Fourth and 16. Arkansas State has to go for it here. Fourth and 16. We got through the line. Are you serious? We got through the line and my dude was obliterated. Miracle play just happened for them. He drops it in the end zone. Second and go, we got the big guys out there. Come on, Skills! And Skills couldn't bring him down, and Arkansas State is going to bring it within one touchdown here. So they're not out yet. He was on it from the start. Extra point is good. We got a one touchdown. I'm sure they'll go for the onside kick. We need to recover this. Oh! Uh -huh. They're just going to kick it deep. So Fountain's going to go back and get it, and he'll kneel that down. So we got three minutes. I really thought they'd go for that. We definitely got to waste clock here. Let's go for the screen play here. Uh-oh. Oh, Sutton. Sutton gets down the field and across midfield. Oh, my God. Tom Sutton, you great person, you. The screenplay, I thought it was blown up from the start, but he just goes out there and makes one guy miss. Juke here makes that dude go to the sideline and then finally brought down by a pack of wolf pack. Them not going for the onside kick may have been a mistake. Good block there, Sutton, he'll go through. They still got three timeouts though. They'll still start using them near the two minute. Tom Sutton near 150 yards today. Red Wolves call their first time out. Oh, that's going to be a first down. Tom Sutton gets through. I didn't call a timeout. That's supposed to be them. They showed Coach Conquest for some reason. I feel like that play took longer than seven seconds, but it says 2.12 left. Bowl game conditions on the line here. Oh, there's a good block. Oh, he couldn't get around. He'll get two, and that's their last time out. So we've got to waste 208 here. One more first down could solidify it. Sutton, Sutton looking for the hole. He'll get a few more. Third and five here. This is dangerous territory. Clock is coming down, though. It's a handoff. He's through the line. He's through. Sutton still on his feet. Sutton still going. He tries to stay in bounds. I don't know if they pushed him out or not, but that is a first down, and that could do it right there. Tom Sutton up to 184 yards this game. This could be his last game. It is his last game at home. That just dawned on me. It did just hit me that these are. this is our senior game. Tom Sutton trying to get through. Second and goal there. He gets three yards. He's up to 187. The game should be taken care of here. Sutton rolling through. He gets up to the goal line. Tom Sutton. Going to call timeout with one second left. So one second left, they put most of the seniors in the game so they get one last snap here at home. There it is, and Tom Sutton's gonna go in for his last touchdown here in Bobcat Stadium. Perkins comes up and gives him a hug. Tom Sutton, a hell of a career. He ends it here at home with a touchdown. I'm not crying, you're crying. And this big win over the 22nd ranked Arkansas State should help them out with bowl game 
consequences. Sutton had 225 yards today and three touchdowns. Warren gets a hug from Jones. Coach Conquest, Tom Sutton, your player of the game, seven yards short of 200 for his final home game here in Bobcat Stadium. Final score here, Texas State 35, Arkansas State 21. The Bobcats put on a great game to end the season, and now they have to see where the bowl committee puts them. Tom Sutton going out on a high note as well. Let's take a look at the stats. Justin Horn, 109.5, 15 for 30, so 50%. He started off really rough, but he had there was a couple of passes. One touchdown, two interceptions, 221 yards. Definitely didn't end the season on a high note. Tom freaking Sutton from Pasadena, Texas. Our godsend. 32 rushes, 193 yards, three touchdowns. His longest was 44 yards after contact, 50. Man, beast. Receptions, Stewart, five for 79 yards, Booker, four for 58, Sutton, two for 32, Roberson had two for 34, and Dixon, two for 18. Stewart had the touchdown and one drop today, but we'll allow that. All-American Steve Humphrey, eight solo tackles, four for a loss. Hughes there had three for a loss. Jenkins and Parker, or Jensen and Parker, excuse me, six tackles each apiece. Jermaine Hughes, three sacks today. Paul Franklin, a sack. Jermaine Hughes is a freshman, everybody. That's amazing. Sands had three extra points and two field goals made. His longest was 49 today. Only one punt for 43 yards by Connor. A much needed win. Arkansas State is unhappy with their poor showing against Texas State. The players played well for you, coach. It's obvious that you had a great week of practice. They played a heck of a game. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what got into them, but we'll take it. All right, that moves us to 8-4. and four. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next week to see if we get a bowl game and what bowl game we get. So hang on. Let's see what happens. Wow, that last game must have really got us some commitments. We got a 72 overall. Brian Gray, a center, has committed. We got another punter, Tyson Stevens. Casey Taylor, a cornerback, and Joe Jones has also committed to our team. That helps us out with certain positions. Gives us some depth. Holy crap. We have the 13th ranked overall recruiting class. Three four stars, 10 three stars, one two star, and two one stars. Evidently, that Brian Gray was one, a top 10 recruit. That is freaking awesome. So there's our recruiting class. Three four stars. Gray, Evans, and Fritz. We don't know what Fritz is going to play, but at 5'10", 196, I don't know. Solid core defensive players, a defensive end, two cornerbacks. Hopefully they have hands. Wide receiver, a fullback who will be better than a 40 overall. Free safety, probably to come in for Stanley. And then some other players, some secondary. We really recorded secondary. And a punter and a kicker. We'll have to see how they turn out. Their number one class in the country goes to Florida. It's conference championship week. We have Louisiana Tech Marshall, Navy US, UCF, South Carolina and Bama. Looks like it's the game of the week. Boise State, San Diego State, UCLA, Washington, Clemson, Virginia Tech, Ohio State, Wisconsin, and Bowling Green Ball State. So... They have officially moved us up to the two line in our conference. The Raging Cajuns won. They stay ranked 18th. Arkansas will drop out of the top 25, losing to us. Grant McCutcheon from Texas A&M is your Heisman winner. There we go, everybody. Congratulations. The Bobcats are going bowling. We're in the GoDaddy.com bowl, and I was correct. We have a different person. We're playing Bowling Green in Mobile, Alabama on 12-29. They are 7-6, seven 7-2 seven in their conference. We're 8-4, 6-2 in our conference. 
So it's an opponent we've never faced before. So that's going to be exciting. Tom Sutton has won the Doak Walker Running Back Award. So congratulations to Tom Sutton. He well deserved. Great bowl matchup. Sutton and the Bobcats head to GoDaddy.com Bowl to play Bowling Green. What's with the weird spacing after the and bowl and play down there? A coach is judged on his postseason success. So this GoDaddy.com Bowl berth is your opportunity. All right. With that said, I'm not going to go any more into it. We're not going to look at any more awards or anything like that. We're going to hold this off for the next episode for the bowl game. We finally have made it. The Bobcats of Texas State are going bowling. We're going against the Bowling Green. I don't even remember what Bowling Green's mascot is. But Kirk Herbstreet is going with Bowling Green. I'm going to remember that. I am going to remember. All right, I'm not going any more into it. I can't do it. We saw Kirk's against us. We'll break down everything. Might do a bowl game preview. I don't know. Might be a little mini episode. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. This has been a great ride. Eight and four, chance to go nine and four. We're in a bowl game. We're playing in Alabama. We played in Mobile, Alabama before. So we'll have to see how things work out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give me your bowl game predictions. What's the score going to be? Who's going to be the player of the game? As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make good decisions. God bless. And I will see you all next time. Good night, everybody.